Hello, beautiful people. So Capture One Pro 23 is officially here. Now, as photographers, you and I know something. We know that so much of the magic of photography actually happens during the editing process. And I have to say that so many of these updates really do feel like magic. I'm talking like one click magic, wonderful features. So I'm very excited to partner with Capture One to talk all about these new features. And if you guys wanna try it out, I do have a 20% off discount code in the description for you for the first 100 people. All right, so first up, let's talk about smart adjustments. Have you ever added a preset or created the perfect edit for a photo? And then you go to apply those same settings to another photo in the collection and it just looks, man, totally not good. That's because in general, a copy and paste approach doesn't really work for photos taken under different conditions. So you end up doing all this manual editing and it takes so much time and it's such a hassle. Well, guess what? Smart Adjustments has your back and it totally fixes that. This tool uses AI to match the look across large batches of images shot under different lighting conditions by automatically adjusting exposure and white balance. So it creates a similar look in just a few clicks, saving you so much time on manually editing. Honestly, this upgrade is such a lifesaver and Smart Adjustments was specifically designed for images of people. So if you do weddings, events, portraits, you're really gonna find this tool helpful. And also if you do any kind of brand work, this is just gonna help create that cohesive look across your collection so all your photos really have a similar look in your deliverables. So let's look at how to use Smart Adjustments step-by-step. First, pick a photo from the shoot with a visible face that you're going to use as the reference image. Edit the white balance and exposure until you're happy with the look. In Smart Adjustments, click Set as Reference, highlight all the photos you want to automatically adjust, and click Apply. Now all those images will be automatically adjusted to match the look of the reference photo. You can also save Smart Adjustments into Styles, which is really amazing, but just wait, we'll talk more about that a little later on. For example, here you can see we were doing a fashion photo shoot in a studio with a lot of natural light, and we were using studio lights as well. So throughout the shoot, the lighting would change between cool, cloudy periods, warm sun, and super bright, harsh light. So as you can see, once I'm happy with my first image, I can just use smart adjustments to apply them to all the photos like that, and it is so easy. Next up, faster culling. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally have a love-hate relationship with uploading all my photos after a big shoot. Yes, it is so exciting to see the photos in all their glory, but it is also really, really overwhelming. Sometimes there's hundreds, thousands of photos, and you have to figure out how to narrow that down into a few deliverables now. I am also a very indecisive Libra, so I can look at two photos and compare them for a very long time, and this is just a very long part of my process and probably the least enjoyable for me. So I was very excited to see the updates in Capture One 23. They now have the call view window and the call view you can use right on import. So directly on import or in the new dedicated call window, you can now enable group view. This lets you choose your top selects even quicker. I know we've all been there agonizing over one or two images that are virtually identical. This groups those sets together and kind of creates groupings for you so you can compare them right away, which is very, very good. I find sometimes I am importing too many photos, but now I can say, okay, these five are similar. I'm gonna pick one or two and go with that. Another amazing feature is the new zoom to 100 when you simply double click. So I can very quickly make sure that the shots I'm picking are truly the sharpest ones. And with instant rendering of previews, there's actually zero delay in this process. If you are an impatient editor, you are going to love this. There is now no waiting around for things to load. It's really, really amazing. So now when you're calling your photos, you can view, rate, tag, filter. You can use the automatic groupings and you have zero delay processing. So if you are doing large batches, if you edit a ton of photos, you are going to love this feature. Now onto my favorite new feature, layers and styles. Now, even before this update, Capture One Pro is really known for being superior to other photo editing software out there because of layers. This is an amazing feature and how they handle it is just 
so intuitive and easy to use. So basically you can go in and create edits on different layers. So you're not editing everything globally. And if you want to go back and make changes, it's very easy to do so because you know exactly what it is. And now they've leveled this up even more. So layers and styles basically means you can take a style, apply it to your photo, and now you can break it apart in different elements and edit those individually. So if you're coming from another editing software, this is basically like applying a preset and then breaking down elements of that preset into different options so you can edit those individually. So it's pretty amazing. So let's check it out. On this image, I'm gonna apply the F400 style from the Beyond Film Pack. Boom, see how once I applied the single style, we now have two layers added, one for color and one for contrast. I can now go in and edit each layer separately without affecting the other. I'll bring up the opacity on both these layers, I think. By editing the layers directly, this allows for easy opacity control and so much versatility in your edit. Now maybe I wanna add another style to this edit. Be careful with this, of course, because you can definitely go overboard, but I do have a cool vintage style that I'm working on and I think it would just be cool on this photo. Okay, so when I add it, yes, that is definitely way too over the top. So I'll just pop over here on the layer and I'll bring the opacity way down to like 10%. So now I just have a little bit of that vibe going on and it looks great. Oh, and remember how we chatted about smart adjustments. So we can also save those adjustments along with these new edits into a brand new style. So I'll just pop over here, I'll click save style and now we have a smart adjustment style. So that has all of these features and it will automatically adjust white balance and exposure on a new picture. So as you can see, Layers and Styles is a super awesome feature. You can make your own, but you can also buy style packs from Capture One, which honestly, I highly suggest that you do. Normally, I don't really push like presets or pre-done things because I find that they don't often work very well, but I have to say I have been blown away by the style packs from Capture One. I'm kind of obsessed with them. They are really, really well made and they really are versatile and work well across so many different types of photos. So if you wanna speed up your editing, uh, that would definitely be something you should pick up. Finally, variants in albums. Now, this is just one feature of so many updates to management and organization in Capture 123, but this one makes me so happy because I am always creating so many variants of my photos, I know. This is probably the indecisive Libra thing, but I'm always experimenting with different edit styles or I'll do a black and white, maybe a super vibey, nostalgic, grainy version, a more conventional web edit. And not being able to put those two different collections and albums is really, really detrimental. The other thing is that so many clients now are requesting photos in multiple crop formats, and it just makes it a lot easier to clone your image and then add the variants of the different styles into their own dedicated album. With this update, you can easily sort different variants of the same image into separate albums, allowing for more efficient photo organization. Variants of the same image can now be put into separate albums without the rest of the variants following along. Here you can see I've made some albums for this shoot. We have black and white, lifestyle edits, vertical 16 by nine and vertical four by five for Instagram. So I can easily take my variants and pop them into the right album so I can export the groups together in a cohesive set, which saves so much time and also helps with reviewing your deliverables before export. All right, so those are my favorite features in Capture One Pro 23. Check it out and you are really gonna level up your editing process. Also the first 100 people to use my discount code, click that link in the description below, are gonna get 20% off a new annual subscription. All right, I have a lot more photo editing videos coming up. Let me know what you guys wanna see. Peace out, love you lots.